G'day, Josh from the Automotive Clinic. All right, so if G Ford Falcon instrument cluster in today. This is a common issue that's happened on these clusters. It's a Series 1 cluster. Um, basically, the car won't start, and all that happens is the airbag light lights up. So what we've got here is we've got the cluster hooked up to power supply on the bench. As you can see, just the airbag light comes on. Um, it's at 13.4 volts and there's no current draw, so I'm not going to be expecting a dead short on that board, but what we're going to do is pull this cluster apart, try to see if we can fix it. Alright, next thing on the FG cluster, and it's actually an interesting one. Um, this isn't an issue that I've seen before. First things first, reflight all the joints of the connectors. Being it's a four cluster, we expect bad connectors out of the box. Um, Next thing, I actually removed, just for, for testing purposes, the airbag LED. So as you can see, that little LED there is that airbag light LED lives down there. Um, I've removed that because I was thinking that we're going to have a bad ground at this cluster, which we do. As you can see, that sort of confirmed it being that all LEDs are flickering like that. So after about sort of 15, 20 minutes of chasing power feeds um, you've got on this cluster as we can see we have if I hook up to the fourth and fifth pins on that connector 13 and a half volts 13 and a half volts now our ground is this bottom pin here as you can see that's a ground it's a good ground now tracing this ground down we've got a good ground on that side of that tiny tiny capacitor there on the other side we're getting 8 volts which is our our basically our board feed so if, if you go across this board um, if we go across this board after all these caps it bumps it down to about 8 volts so what I'm thinking is that we've got a faulty component there and how I'm gonna prove that at least is by electronic guys will probably hate this but I'm gonna just take a test probe hook to ground put it on the bottom of that pin and our cluster comes to life. Now, I'll flip that screen over and show you that that screen is all good, um, and we'll show you this. There we go, screen's flipped over. As you can see, we've got all our warning messages coming up, and I just lost it there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip the same component as that off a donor board, solder it onto here, and we're gonna see if we have a fix. All right, moment of truth. Um, I have replaced that little bugger there. I've resoldered that airbag LED in, oh, I think it's that one, um, and we're gonna power it up. We've got the bench supply hooked up. Hopefully, she's back to life. There we go. All sorted, we're gonna put this back together, put our needles back on and everything. Thank you for watching.